the scourge of fair taxes. Meet Jimmy. He's an average Canadian fifth grader who enjoys hockey and Timbits. Jimmy doesn't have a care in the world. And why should he? Jimmy is part of a hardworking family. Ow. Get up, Jimmy. That's okay. Accidents happen. Jimmy will have no more than a seven hour wait to get the medical care he seems to want. What's an hour? Didn't you learn that in school, Jimmy? Maybe you just weren't paying attention. Our school systems receive all the funding they need, so it certainly must be your fault. What Jimmy doesn't realize is, through the miracle of corporate, corporate tax, tax cuts, cuts, our country is strong. Corporate, corporate tax, tax cuts, cuts allow the most valuable members of our society, private companies, to do miraculous things, all out of the infinite goodness of their mighty corporate hearts. But, mister, my mom says that taxes should be fair and that corporations should have to help out like everyone else. Well, Jimmy, your mother is an idiot. Or perhaps a dirty hippie. Only communist nations think like that. You see, fair taxes are a blight on society. Corporations need to keep things like capital gains free from dangerous legislation that could threaten their well-being. Why? Some of these people want to raise $11 billion by eliminating our planned tax cuts. These people are dangerous, Jimmy. Don't listen to your mother. Uh, what about the trees and stuff? We have a Prius, you know. You mean the environment? There's no such thing. That's why we don't need a carbon tax. Everything will just magically take care of itself as long as corporations can make record profits. That's what's important. I, I guess so? No, you don't guess so, Jimmy. I'm telling you straight up. Now here, take these conservative platform documents and uh, get someone to read it to you. You'll feel a lot better. <laughs>